What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Flask tutorial video. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is URL converters, or kind of the way I see it is a way to make dynamic URLs. So the idea here is to take the URL path itself and treat each little path along the way as a variable or actually treat the entire path itself as a variable. So obviously, you know, there are ways to pass variables through and get variables from the URL uh, just natively through get and post commands, for example. Uh, but here, it's a little more uh, fluid way to handle the URLs, but also it's gonna save you some coding in certain scenarios. So at least on, on my end, a certain scenario is like down here, where you know I thought I would make custom tutorials per you know tutorial, but as time goes on, you start to really template things. And what we're seeing here is very obvious. I mean, we've got functions that pretty much for the most part are identical functions. Some of the words might be a little different, but at the end of the day, these functions boil down to the same thing as the other one's doing. So the dynamic URLs or the URL converters as they're called with Flask, uh, really handles a situation like this very well. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and hop to it and uh, start an example. So let's find where we had been working before. So I'm searching Ginger Man. And we'll take this function here, copy, paste. Now I've got our own. I'm just making some space here. A lot of times people ridicule me for my white space. I generally make the white space so it's easier to see on the tutorial. <laughs> so um, sorry if that really bothers you, but uh, it makes sense to kind of make the space on the tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we'll start off with a page called uh, converters. And the way that we do, well, first let's change the name of these functions. Uh, so converter, converter example. And then the template we're going to return. First of all, let's get rid of this data. And then the template we're going to return will be uh, converter example.html. Oops, we already had that part. And we're not passing data. So that's the page that we're going to visit. Now, to have these uh, URL converters, or I, they basically are tags that you treat, or at least you treat them like tags. So for an example of this might be maybe this converters is it's a, a forum and you've got pages. So you might have in the URL a page like that. So that's basically, it's like a tag. And then every time you've got a little uh, parameter, variable, whatever you wanna call it here, you take that and pass it through the function just like you would with an actual Python function. This is being passed through. Then finally, you wanna pass that through to the template if you're gonna use it in the template. But you actually, you wouldn't necessarily, it's not necessarily the case, gonna be the case that every time you're gonna pass everything through here, through the function, through to the template, you might actually just have whatever this is changing the logic in the, in the actual function itself and returning maybe a whole different template or something like that. So, uh, but for now we're gonna pass it through just so we can see the functionality work. So we've got page equals page, cool. So we'll save that. And now we need to make a converter example.html. So we'll come into the templates and we'll duplicate 404 here. Uh, and we'll call this uh, con converter example.html. Sure, we'll open the shell here. And good to go. Converter example, open that up. And here we go. So let me, uh, let's clean this up. Just like we cleaned up the other ones before. Div to div. Done. All right. So now, for now, we'll just reference the variable. Okay, so we're just gonna say, whoops, uh, page. Okay, so we'll save that. And that should really be it. So let's go ahead and come over here. And by the way, um, for some reason, if you do service Apache 2 reload and you're not on the root user, that's what was causing the problem. If I do sudo service Apache 2 reload, um, that seems to actually reload things. I, I can't imagine that restarting Apache with sudo or not sudo, I, I can't believe that actually causes a difference because I mean, you're, you're, you're both referencing the exact same service, uh, but apparently that does make a difference. So, or at least from what I've found so far. So anyway, keep that in mind. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is head to our website and it's a dashboard. Let's go to, well, first let's go to converters and then add a page here page five, okay. Uh, and so we're grabbing five at least at this point, but what happens if you just wanted to go to like uh, converters? You're gonna get a, a 404 because converters is not actually being addressed in any of our uh, code here. So 
Uh, what happened to my init? Uh, is it still up? Yeah. So right now we're requiring there to be converters and then the page, but there's really no addressing just simply converters. So generally, I mean, you wouldn't want to have to, like, you would probably want to have just a page here and then you start populating the page numbers if, if you need them, right? You might not actually need them and it just adds more to the URL. So instead, you'd probably want to do something like this, like app root, converters, close that off, cool. So then you might try to do something like that, but you're going to find out that doesn't work. And we come over here, refresh, and we get basically a 500. This is a custom 500 error, but uh, you'll get a 500. What went wrong? Well, uh, we have nothing for page. We're trying to pass page. We have nothing for page. Uh, so what we want to do is set a default parameter, right? So easy enough. Save that. Come back over here. Restart. Come back to uh, here refresh and sure enough we're on the default page which is page one now uh, we're trying to say hey these are page numbers but what happens if you instead of uh, a page you put uh, G okay uh, we're gonna get a G but that's not an, an actual page so so what can we do there uh, to handle for G when we really want that to be a page uh, a page number well, page numbers are all integers, so you would use int. So this basically requires it to be an int. If you pass something that is not an int through to here, uh, it's not going to work, right? Because we have no handling for a string and not an int. So for example, let's reload, refresh, we get a 404. But if we pass a 5 here, we get the 5 and no other problems. So then, uh, what if, for example, five works, but what if we did uh, 6.0? We get a 404. 6.0 is convertible to an int, but that's not an int, and we have this little dot here, and that's what's causing some of the trouble. But we can do float. So we can do that, restart, come over here, refresh, and sure enough, we get a 6.0. Okay, uh, another one that we can do is string. So for example, um, if we started saying like Python is so cool and we came over here and we said, hey, we, we won't take anything. Let's just do the regular page, let's say, because that was working right for most things. So we do that. Uh, you'll see that we actually, we get Python is so cool and we even get our little exclamation mark. And, uh, and so like that basically works it's a lot like the, the default version basically that you're going to have. Um, but if you wanted to use purely string, you would say something like this. You could just say string page. Now the problem with the string page is going to be the following. So string takes everything but a slash. So what if you wanted to do something like, um, Python is cool. Okay, like that was your path. Um, or let me, let's do something more realistic. So Python tutorials uh, basics. Okay, you wanted a handle for a path like that. Uh, we could go, but we see that's we're, we're having some sort of issue here. Uh, and we, we could try to say, hey, this is just page. Uh, we could uh, refresh there, come over here. Still, we don't have any handling for, for this. But what we can do is instead of page, uh, you can say path, uh, and then we'll say, we'll call it page for now. We should probably call it URL path or something, but uh, let's reload, come over here, uh, refresh, and there you go. You've got the actual path, Python slash tutorials slash basics. So we pick up all of that information. So that's pretty useful because it allows you basically to... Uh, to have a, a very dynamic path. So you might have tutorials basics, uh, and that's like the basics tutorials. Maybe they want to take it even further and they want to go to uh, wow loop or something like that. Um, you, you would pick up that, right, at any length of path. Now, uh, another thing that you might do is, like for example, you might have uh, converters and then you might have string and then article and then here, or actually maybe maybe it's a string and this is your thread title and then you have an uh, int uh, that is a page okay 
So we need to pass uh, the thread and we need to pass it down here too. So thread equals thread. Save that, we'll come back over here and let's just add the uh, thread here, thread. And let's uh, let's put it put it at least this in paragraph tag so they're on a separate line. Save. We'll come over here. We'll reload and go back over here. And we'll say the thread will be Python. The page will be uh, 15. Didn't work. Let's see what happened. Coming back over here. So thread is a string. That should have been fine. Int was a page. We pass thread page, thread page. Let's refresh one more time here. Python 15, still not working out. What's wrong with you? Okay, fine. We'll come back over here. That went through. Let's see, converge, string, thread. Hmm. Let's try to give this a default just to see. Uh, thread page, for example. I'm sure it's like a super obvious problem here, but I'm not seeing it. Where is, let's move this over, dang it. Let's refresh that. So we're not getting, for some reason we're not getting it. What is happening? Do we not have the, oh, okay, I see what's happening, maybe. Uh, Maybe it's that. I don't, that shouldn't cause the problem. Really, it would be like if you didn't have the slash. Wow. Usually, that doesn't cause the problem. Like, okay, so so what happened there was if you have an, an app root that uh, has a slash like this, like con slash converter slash, uh, you can typically go to the website. Yeah, okay, so I guess maybe that was what was causing our problem. So if you have a slash and then converters and then slash, you can visit that URL by by either having slash converters slash or just slash converters, and it will just be automatically converted to having a slash. But if you don't have a slash, the only way you can code that URL is with slash converters, no slash. So, uh, so that was what was causing us some trouble there. Uh, we did not have the slash here. So we had the slash and the slash, and we come back over here, reload. Uh, that should still work, and then it probably imposes a slash, yeah. So it adds the slash there, but you're capable of, of entering without the slash. Okay, so that was the problem. So so that in this case, you're basically requiring there be a string and an imp page, and the other one was a path where you could have basically unlimited... Um, you know paths. Now, uh, what's interesting about this is is actually you could use something like this, especially the path, to actually make your entire website all contained within one function. Now, that doesn't mean you should do that. It just means that you can do that. So, for example, if we go to the very very top here and find, let's just do, uh, let's just go to the see if we can find. There it is. So this is our main. This is like our home page, right? So how would we get to the home page uh, with a home page and then handle for any other path? So first what you would do is you would handle for uh, the slash, okay? Then what you would do is you're gonna handle for slash and then a tag. So like let's go take this slash and then handle for path, uh, URL path. And then don't forget your little slash there. <laughs> and then URL path. We'll say the default URL path is a slash. And we still need the slash for the reasons that we needed it before. Don't forget that part. Uh, so we still need this line. And I think that's all we need. Let's, let's try that. And, and basically any page even if it would, in theory, have previously resulted in a 404, any page will actually result in the home page. So uh, let's let's refresh here, or reload. And so here is our website. Let's go ahead and reload here, make sure we don't have any error. Dashboard, cool. Let's try to go to the home page. No error on the home page. And then uh, let's go to this web there. 
Sure enough, that takes us to the home page. So now any link would take us to the home page. So, well, any link that isn't uh, explicitly addressed in the init.py anyway. So if we go to, you know, converters5, for example, that should, oh, that's actually taking us to the home. Do, well, we don't have any handling for converters5, so that's exactly, that's our problem. But if we go, uh, like we go to the dashboard, for example, uh, let's go here, let's go to the home page, and then you go to the dashboard, that's explicitly defined in our init.py, so, so we're able to go there. But if you went to like dashboard, uh, this, and then this, and then this, that's not defined explicitly, but it is handled for uh, in this. So that's pretty cool. You could have everything in that main function. You could have like a, you know, if you, if you were like a really good programmer, you could probably have everything in the main function and still have it be a pretty nice, clean website and a really short main function. So you could probably do some pretty cool stuff there, but uh, that's not me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's just to kind of show that you can have how, how actually powerful these dynamic URLs or URL converters actually are. So anyways, uh, that's it for this tutorial. If you have questions, comments, concerns, I'm not sure what concerns you might have, but if you did have them, you can leave them below. Uh, the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about Flask Mail, which is a pretty powerful mailing application that's kind of built around Flask. It's really easy to use, even if you weren't using flask for a website i would use flask mail because it's so simple i would just make a quick app that that just issues mail uh through flask because i'm pretty happy with this flask mail i haven't found another application that does it as well as flask mail so anyways that's what we'll be talking about in the next tutorial so stay tuned for that uh anyway till next time